When I say that out loud, 50% of inner city school kids do not graduate high school, that is a national catastrophe. We should be ringing the alarm, bell, alarm bells. It's not fair. We've made a huge effort globally, but in the United States, about getting kids jobs. So this is one piece of it, but the South Bronx is out. The inner city schools need it more than most. It's our, obviously our hometown, so J.B. Moore and Chase banks a lot of people here. We need to get kids with getting out of high school who can go on with a job or go on to college, and that leads to a job. You saw the kids today. They're all getting jobs. They're smiling. They're proud of themselves, and that's what we need to do in our inner city schools. You've said the, the lack of opportunity for kids growing up in this area is a moral and economic crisis. How did that happen exactly? It's not just this area. So you have unemployment now going below, you know, 4.4% this morning. But if you go to a lot of inner city school, inner cities, the unemployment among youth, like think of 17 to, to 25, is 20% or 25%. So the fact that part of the country is doing well doesn't mean we shouldn't focus on the part that isn't. And so I think part of the problem is that jobs have to be done locally. So these kids can get jobs at the MTA, there's a, a distribution company down here. They know what these kids are being trained in. They were, they were part of the training effort. Business has to be involved locally with civic society, in this case schools, to, to get the kids trained to have a job. There are plenty of jobs out there. And so when people talk about the problems, you know, you, I would say, well, what's the solution? What do you want? What's the outcome you want? How are you going to get there? I think civic society and business have to do it together. It's not going to work one without the other. When I say that out loud, 50% of inner city school kids do not graduate high school, that is a national catastrophe. We should be ringing the alarm, bell, alarm bells. It's not fair. You know, we were a land of opportunity. You know, we'll never have equal outcomes, but you can have equal opportunity. And among those kids, we might have had a Colin Powell or an Albert Einstein, we may never know. So I just think it's just part of running a good society you know, people should get involved in fixing that particular problem.